Let's create an email text form field which supports email validation and also autofilling of emails. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's follow three simple steps. First of all, we will build our email field. Secondly, we will integrate the autofill dialog of our email field. And lastly, we want to integrate the email validation. Therefore, let's get started by going to our build method. And here we want to create an email field widget. And inside of it, we want to add a text editing controller. Therefore, simply go to your state and here you add then this text editing controller and you also need to clean up your text editing controller within the dispose method. Now let's build this email field by going to our email field widget, which you have created. And here inside of the build method, we create then a text form field and here you need to put then the controller inside and also make the type of your field to an email address field. With this, we have here a normal text field and we also want to decorate it a bit. Therefore, I simply add here as a hint text the email and I also add an icon so that it looks more beautiful. Secondly, you can make your email text field rounded by supplying here this border and then you simply add here this border radius of 20. And now our email text field is rounded. Let's continue with step two by building an autofill dialog for our email. Therefore, you simply go to your text form field and here you add this autofill hints email. And after this, you can focus your text field and then you will see all the emails which are provided by your system. Let's also continue with step three, where we access the value of our email field. And we also want to integrate the validation if we click on our login button and then it should say if the email is valid or not. To check if the email is valid, which the user has typed within your email field, you simply go to your text form field and here you create then a validator. And this validator gets then here the email of your text field. And here we can then decide if our email is valid or not. And therefore we will use here an email validator package, which has here a method validate where we put then our email inside. And in case our email is not valid, then we want to return here an error message which says enter a valid email. Otherwise, if our email is valid, then we return here null, which is the successful case. And that means that our email is valid. And lastly, we get here an error because this email can be null and therefore you also check that the email is not null. To make use of this email validator, you also need to go to your pubspec drummel file. And here you need to include this email validator under your dependencies. And the last step to make our validation work, we need to call here this validation method every time if we click on the login button. Therefore, you simply go to the page where your email field is implemented. Then you need to wrap a parent widget, for example, this column or also this widget around with a form widget. And inside of the form widget, you need to supply a key. And this form key you need to include then within your state. So create here a global key. And now we can use this form key to access all the validator methods within our form widget and we want to access here this email field validator method. Therefore, we simply go here to our login button and if we click on our login button, then we want to call here our form key current state. And here on our form, we can then call this method validate and the statement will then check if our email field is valid or not. And it is also executing here then this validator function within our email field. So let's try it out. I click here on this login button and you see it says enter a valid email. And if our email is valid, then he is going here inside and we can then access over our email controller the value of our text field. And then you can log in your user with this email or you can also print it, for example, in a snack bar. So what I'm doing here, I simply put this email inside of a snack bar text. So again, if I click here on the login button, nothing is happening because the email is not valid. Therefore, let's put here a valid email inside and click again on login. And then you see he shows here the snack bar and is also going here inside. Next to checking if your email is valid, we also want to include here this X button at the end. And if we click on this button, then he will simply clear our text field. To integrate this functionality, simply go to your email text form field. And here inside of the decoration, you need to add the suffix icon. And then you set here your icon first of all. And you also call here on this on pressed the widget controller clear method. And with this, we have here this button at the end. And if we click on this button, then he is clearing our email. 
If our email has then no value within our text field, it still shows here this button, so you also can hide it. Therefore, you simply include here this condition and check if our text field value is empty. And if it is empty, then we want to show a container with a width of zero. And otherwise, if we have a value in our text field, then we show here this close icon at the end. And with this, our close icon will disappear. However, if I type here anything inside, you will see that there is no close icon anymore. And this is because he is not rebuilding this widget. And to rebuild this widget, you simply go to your state and here you create an init state and a dispose method. And within the init state, you add then a listener and within the dispose method, you remove again the listener. And now we create here this on listen method where we basically call every time the set state to update our UI every time if we have here a new value within our text field. And this means every time if we are putting here a new value inside, then he is calling the set state. And then he is also putting here this close icon at the end and is updating our suffix icon. And the same works also if you clear again your field, then he's also putting again this clear icon away. And by the way, if you want to have here this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!